I'm going to show you the original and the correct way to tie Jack's knot. A super strong knot that you can tie in five seconds. I'm going to use this um, deer hair mouse tied on a 10 aught hook and some fly line to begin with for illustration purposes. You thread your hook with the line. You do not hold the hook, the fly, or the lure at all. That's one of the great advantages of this. This is a knot you can tie in about five seconds in the dark, cold hands. It's one of the great advantages. You crisscross the line like this. That's how much tag you're going to use. You come back here and flip this over into a nice big loop. Then you take the tag and roll it around the two lines, catch it between the thumb and middle finger, place the tag on top of the index finger and trap it with the middle finger, then set the knot below. And this will slide down to the hook with no friction. Especially if it's a uh, regular line and not fly line. It'll, it creates no friction. That's why you can tie it a good distance from the hook. But not having to hold the hook is a great advantage. Okay, I'm going to tie this without a hook. Just to illustrate the way that it's tied. You take the tag, place it there. That's how much you're going to use. You crisscross the line, in other words. You come back here and flip this over into a nice loop. Roll this around the two lines below, through the loop, catch that with the middle finger to trap it, and it will slide down and disappear. So it's like this. One, two, three, four. Now if you want to tie it the other way, and I call this left-handed, but some people like having the hook on that side. You do it the same way. You crisscross the line. You flip this over into a loop, bring the tag around the two lines, trap that the same way, and there it is. So it's like this. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to tie it um, what I call right-handed, but I'm going to show you something That'll really make life easier for you if you ever use droppers, like a hopper dropper or a dry fly dropper or something else tying to the bend of the hook. Because you can tie this, what you call, in the air without a hook on it. So we'll do this and this, just like I did before. And now you've got this, and you take your fly, in this case the mouse, tie that, you tie a dropper down here. This is a hopper dropper, mouse dropper. This makes life a lot easier in tying uh, things like that. Now I'm going to use some real line and real flies. I got some 5x um, tippet material here and then I've got a size 14 copper john. I'm going to tie on with the 5x. I'm going to use my magnetic threader to thread it first. I'll put the Copper John in my magnetic threader. Here's my uh, tippet material. And I'm going to run this uh, down the uh, channel of the threader. And it goes right through the eye of the fly. There we have it, right there. So we come up here. And so we tie the uh, knot like one, two, three. Or it's on there. You might want to might want to moisten that when you pull it down there, and maybe trim the tag. But now I'm going to tie a midge onto the bend of this hook as a dropper. So um, let me get my midge, zebra midge. Put it in the magnetic threader. I'm going to tie this. Um, with uh, 6x material. Actually, I probably should have tied this on to the bend of the hook first. It's what I normally would do, but since I'm doing it this way, I'll go ahead and tie the midge on. And we go down the channel of the uh, magnetic threader through the midge. 
through the eye of the midge. Had to reposition it. So here again we go uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. We got this tied on now. now. If I want to tie this on as a dropper, I'll cut it up here and we'll tie this in the air and tie it. Uh, to the uh, copper job. Normally I would have tied this on first. I just kind of forgot. Okay, here we go. Tied it in there. One, two, three, four. Now I've got this and now all I have to do is slip it over the bend of the hook of the copper john and I'll be ready to uh, fish my dropper right there there it is it's a little hard to see with this thin line but uh, you can understand how I'm tying that but that makes life so much easier fishing a dropper you can tie it on that way but this is also a very quick an easy and super strong fly um, uh, knot to tie a fly on with and it will make you catch more fish it'll make you be more successful